<laughs> yeah, you know it. Don, the director of fun here, and uh, what an awesome nature shot. You know, you got to have these kind of moments, and not everybody lives where they can get them, so I'm just here to help. Oh, and have I got a great topic to talk about today. Hey, quick question for you. Do people really understand what networking is all about? Are they just really trying to be, or whether they know it or not, being, I don't know, a 1099 glorified salesperson for their product or service? <laughs> hey, we'll stand by. We're going to chat about that. Hey, how we doing? So I, as I mentioned, we're going to chat a little bit about um, networking. And the reason we're doing that is I had a, I had a great experience this morning. Now, I'm going to kind of share a little bit about it and how it worked. And I'm going to share you some bad experiences that I've had with people. And uh, I don't know, leave comments below and, and let me know what you think, because I'd be, uh, this would be a great discussion to have. Uh, finding out about your thoughts here's what happened well let me tell you the bad one first let's go there so the other night I had a, a young man contact me on Facebook and you know sent me a message and I accepted the friendship and in networking guys it doesn't matter whether it's online with Facebook or uh, contacts made through YouTube or LinkedIn or in person at networking events or just events where you happen to run into people and, and have a chance to talk so this individual proceeded to um, push his idea uh, of what I thought I should be in for business. Okay, I can live with that. He saw value in it. When I told him it wasn't something along my lines or that I was interested in, he continued to push, um, saying that he had to push because he knew how good it was and I needed it. Well, I didn't see any value in what he had for me. That doesn't mean he didn't see value. But I didn't see any value. Now, why would you continue to push something at somebody if that person doesn't see value? You're going to beat them up into it? Uh, brain dunk them into believing that what you have is the best thing going? Not going to happen. So, the opposite of that happened this morning. I had a, another contact uh, friend me on Facebook and... And we're chatting about each other's business. And, you know, I don't ever actually push what I do or, or mention a, just a, a general. And if they want more information or they ask questions, I'm happy to answer. But, you know, I just like talking, seeing what people are doing, having a good time. Turns out that we had some common background, some common interest. Uh, besides ending up both being veterans, he fixed planes that I jumped out of. Um... We found some common interest in business areas, both on both sides. Uh, some stuff that he's going to be picking up from me to do here shortly, and some stuff I am definitely going to be picking up from him to do shortly. And at the end of it, we like, you know, we've got some common ground, and we were both headed towards uh, some other marketing concepts, and we're maybe we ought to collaborate and uh, see what we can't put together. So this is what networking is all about. Too many times. I find, I don't know, you tell me if I'm wrong, that most people are not, and we're going to be talking about this in an upcoming video, not truly entrepreneurs. They're not out networking. They're glorified 1099 sales reps for the product or service that they're pushing or promoting. Nobody wants to be sold. People do like to buy. We've all heard that. Nobody wants to be sold. So if you're pushing instead of leading, good luck. You know, I, I was in sales for a long time. I never had to be a pushy salesman to make sales. And I made a lot of sales back in those days. Won the awards all over the place. But the point is, I never pushed people into it. Always brought them along a path and educated them and helped them do, do um, the research that they needed or the information that they needed so that the buying decision was theirs to buy based on it solving a need or filling an expectation that they had and were looking for. Now, granted, I had a little bit of learning to do when I came online uh, and learning how to do that online. I'd been out of the business, the industry for about, 
oh, what, seven, eight, nine years. So I had a lot of learning. I had a couple of coaches that have really helped me out in that area. Um, but the concept of being a salesperson versus being an entrepreneur is definitely not the same. Yeah, there's some sales aspects involved. But if you're truly good at what you do, it's about interaction. It's about networking. It's about attraction, as you hear that a lot. But it's a little bit more. It's about bringing them into your world because of their need or their um, drive of what they're looking for and your ability to solve that, fix that, or point them in the right direction. Because you know what? Sometimes you can't solve it. Sometimes you don't have the right thing. But I have found that if I can send them to the right person or the right place to be able to get that taken care of, I earn a degree of respect and I end up with a certain percentage of them still getting to do some business down the road. So it's all about how you treat people, folks. You can be a, a pushy 1099 glorified salesman and think you're an entrepreneur or you can really be an entrepreneur and a business person. Hey, leave your comments below. I'd love to hear. This would be a great discussion. I'm sure I'm going to hear people with um, comments on both sides. And hey, that's what discussions are all about, right? If you found some value, please hit the like button. Uh, if you're catching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. You know, hit that little notification button. I've got uh, entrepreneur skills and trips coming out. Tips, I should say. Sorry. Um, and you'll probably want to keep up to date with them. Uh Got some links underneath. We do an affiliate training, affiliate uh, skill enhancement, if you will, on a online TV show. Hey, guys, it's free. Uh, and it applies to any industry uh, out there. So take advantage of it. Do some learning. Uh, I've got some other links below. If you find some value there, feel free to click on them. Glad to help you out. Uh, share this with other people. Let's get a real good discussion going about it. And let's have some fun. Let's get some input. And uh, let's see if we can't upgrade the quality of so many people's business attributes out there so that everybody wins, everybody achieves. Well, this is the director of fun saying, I got to go because look behind me. It's lunchtime and I'm going to have me some uh, boar's head roast beef sandwich out here in the woods and enjoy my life. Y'all have a good day.